College World Series. We're coming down to cases. We began the day with four teams. Now we have three. And by the time the evening is over, we could be down to the finalists in this year's NCAA College World Series. Quickly to bring you up to date. Stanford is already going to play tomorrow, but who might they play? If Oklahoma State happens to win here, the Cowboys would be the only unbeaten team, thereby assured of a national championship berth, and that Stanford team would have to beat them twice. Now, if Texas wins, Oklahoma State gets tomorrow off. They would play the championship game Sunday and would meet the winner of the Stanford and Texas tilt. So those are the possibilities. You know, during the course of this 1987 College World Series, we've seen some outstanding plays made by great players. Robin Ventura's 58-game hitting streak. Richie Lewis's outstanding, gutty performances in two losing efforts on the mound. Greg Patterson, the southpaw from LSU, who gave the Tigers their two victories. But in a game of baseball, a lot of times, just winning is uh, not all that it takes. Sometimes it's what happens in the clubhouse, what happens in the dugout what many players think is the key to their victories. Baseball games are special in their own way. And it seems that baseball has some special superstitions that add to the intrigue of the game. Batters like Robin Ventura and their ritual. Stepping out, taking a few swings, and then finally adjusting the helmet. All of that is a part of the uniqueness that is the sport of baseball. LSU has a lucky voodoo towel that they keep in their dugout, and pitcher Dan Kite won't change his uniform or his spikes. And how about Skip Bertman, the Tigers coach who carries a rabbit's foot? Baseball players, uh, you know, and some coaches, uh, you know, are very superstitious traditionally. Um, and they're, I think baseball players are probably the most colorful people. And I think uh, the nature of sport lends itself to a little bit of cutting up when you can still be in a ball game. And that's a great thing about this sport. You often see college players emulating the pros in the way they play the game. But the pros copying the colleges? It happens in the case of rally caps. Texas is known to be the originator of the ritual, but the majors have adopted this superstition. How did it all start? Oh, I don't think it was invented by our club. I think our club may have uh, gotten more credit for it than anybody else because I think about the time ESPN started covering the College World Series, we were probably the first to use it. Uh, you know, over TV. I don't know. They seem to work sometimes. Uh, we've got a couple of them. We got a two-two-two rally hat, which is uh, two balls, two strikes, and two outs. We kind of try and uh, I make the call in the dugout. Hey, two-two-two, help them out. Here we go. And we always flip the hats back and forth like this and keep them going until the out is made or base hit falls. We did that in the regional, and uh, Rob Hartwig hit a ball back to the pitcher. And I kept telling him, keep the hats going, keep the hats going. All of a sudden, the pitcher dropped his glove and the ball. Rob Hartwig made it safe to first. We use them quite a bit when uh, we're down, eighth, ninth inning, and I think it just gives a little, the team a little confidence and, uh, you know, boosts a little spirit into the, uh, to the team. There's a strange irony to that story, and that is the LSU Tigers are probably one of the more, if not the most superstitious team that made it as one of the final eight and then on to the final four of this College World Series. That irony perhaps could be best summed up by what happened to them in the bottom half of the 10th inning in game 12. For those of you that may have missed it, let's set the scene. The Tigers had scored three times in the top of the 10th, held a 5-2 lead. Skip Bertman made a choice, a choice to bring in a freshman relief pitcher to take over for his ace, the Terminator, Barry Manuel. The bases were jammed, and here's what happened as Paul Carey came to the plate, swinging from the left side. as you know, is not a perfect world. May I? That's why it's so refreshing when something really perfect comes along. Like 